We have had the beautiful love story. Now let's get to the issues. Mercy, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Eh? So you are Edwin's uh, chief financial officer. Yes. Hey, why do you think he calls you that? Edwin calls me that because the way, you know, when you're a good manager, yeah. you can get even the, the high rank in mm -hmm. somebody's life. Yeah. And you mentioned you're young. How young are you? Right now, I cannot. I'm no longer young. You are? I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm 29. 29. I'm no longer young. And how old is your husband? How young is your husband, rather? We are age mates. Age mates. So he's also 29. Yes. And then you mentioned that whenever you feel like sometimes uh, when he has an issue, he doesn't talk about it. He just goes ahead and watches the television or uh, stays around looking at the phone. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been, it is something that I, I realized. Then I asked him. You know, I'm, I'm somebody, I'm very much open. Whenever I say something, I'm like, man, let us just sit down and we talk about this. What is happening? Why are you too much on the television? And at times, there is, there is nothing much here. So before you used to tell me, then as the time went by, I was like, I wanted to know, what is this good thing here? Because, you know, when you're married, you just have to join her. You just have to join him. Because those are the first things that you're being taught when yeah. you are doing the counseling. So I was like, am I the problem or is the problem? I should be finding the reason why he's on the television. So What I makes asked you him, think, eh? What makes you think that he, when he's watching the TV, there's a problem? What makes you think like that? It is unusual. Yeah. I know he's a man who loves. Yeah. And most of the time, he might love being with me. Yeah. So when you see something strange, there is a problem. You know, your man, you have to like... It must be in your fingertips. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You have to help you solve some of the problems without going so to that. Jua. Yes, yeah. I know him. So whenever there's an issue, you, you almost predict that he's going to spend more time watching the yes. TV or the phone. Yes. What kind of issues normally arise? Well, for me, I'm kind of, I have some instincts. And at times my conclusions are not right. My assumptions are not, uh, they're not right. So you do assume? I do assume. So when I assume, I do like, I approach him. And you know, you men, small things make you pull back. So whenever I can be like, at times I'm wrong. I usually feel that after, that I'm wrong. Like I asked something and I feel that thing, it wasn't right. Like the tone you asked of it or what you asked about? What do you mean it wasn't right? Mm, like, you know, you can be like, you know, there's some small things like maybe like he is a man who like he love work. By the time he was in Mombasa, he used to work so much. And imagine that time you're dating. And for me, I'm like I'm I'm actually the job that I'm doing. At times you are messed up with your job with your boss and you're like, I need somebody that I should be talking to. And you cannot find this man. So I'm like, at times maybe I just feel that you're, there is nothing that you're doing in an office, in that office. Maybe you're just enjoying the social media things, like such kind of things. So it is just a, an assumption. I've been trying to like, you know men, you don't love to be pushed. You can push somebody. There is a book that I read that men are coming from Venus and ladies women are, are from Mars. Mars. Men, uh, women are from Venus, Ven men are from Mars. Something exactly. Like that, yes, yes. I think that book, it helped me. Because it says that at times men you are in the, in the grave, mm. yes, and that time you should not even disturb a man. You let him lie. Yes, you let him lie on the, in the grave. Like you lie up kabisa. What if he lays there? For? No, you have to go to the grave uh -huh. at times. You go to the grave. You go to the grave. Yeah, yes. you just as in you just uh, have to uh, to break that rule. Then you're like, hey, it is as if you are in this house alone. Mm. Then you just have to like. So I've been trying to do that, but he's a very quiet man. He's a very quiet man. Very quiet he loves man. to keep to himself. Yes, he loves, that is what, we are opposite. Yes. Yeah. You're talkative, he yes. is very quiet. You very try quiet. to find out what is going on in his mind. Yes, but I, I, I was happy when one day he told me that from today I'll try to be, like I, I will try to talk mm -hmm. some things mm -hmm. out. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing your personal journey. It's been a pleasure speaking with you, Marcy. I've been speaking with Edwin's CFO. <laughs> <laughs> and no time for me to speak with Edwin himself and get to hear from his side, his perspective as a man.